What's up guys, Tim Little here with Tactical Bass and I am sitting here rigging up all my gear. In the next few days I'm going to be doing some spot and small fishing and I figured it would be a great time to throw up the camera and show you guys what I'm rigging, what I'm throwing um, for wintertime spots and smallies. So today's video is going to be uh, my top five or six or seven uh, wintertime spot and smallie baits. You know, I'm sitting here, I got all this stuff out and I'm thinking, what am I going to throw? What am I, what am I going to condense everything down to? Uh, what am I going to consolidate to? So I narrowed it down to out of five, six or seven baits. And uh, that's what I'm going to share with you guys today. So to start off, I'm going to go with a jig. You know, I personally throw a dirty jigs finesse football head. You can get it uh, in all, all different uh, weights. But uh, the cool thing about this jig is it's got, uh, the color's great obviously, but the hook itself is a light wire jig. You know, we're fishing these deep clear water reservoirs out here in Northern California. And a lot of times we're fishing anywhere from 25 to, to 60 feet. And <clears throat> you need a good hook penetration. So these light wire hooks with light line, deep bite, you can get a real good, real good hook penetration. So I, I stick with uh, the finesse football or I will throw, if I want a little different presentation, I will go with just a normal football, football head and then I'll put the Gary Yamamoto hula grub on here. This is a great bait for fishing deep and dragging through, uh, through mud or uh, deep rock piles. The next bait that I wanna to talk to you guys about is a swim bait. You know, Matt and I, we did a recent video talking about the fishing the extremes in cold water months. You know, real small baits, real big baits. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link to it right up here. In this video, we're talking about specific for spots and smallies. So my go-to swim baits for them is gonna be the Kitek. You know, you can go with the 4.8, the 2.8, the 3.8, the 4.3, a lot of great sizes by Kitek. How I like to fish these, depending on where the fish are, are positioning, you know, if they're suspended, I'll chuck it out there and I'll, I'll count it down and wind it through the schools. But a lot of time, these deep clear water reservoirs, the fish are gonna be glued to bottom. And uh, I'll fire out there and, and just kinda work it slowly uphill. Just slowly creeping it. That tail's just barely flapping. Uh, it's a great way to catch numbers and uh, don't be surprised if you catch a giant. You know, I throw a little tiny guy on six, eight pound spinning gear all the way up to the 4.8 on like a three quarter ounce head, deep water and just creep it. So that depends on the size of fish you're fishing for. You wanna match the hatch, the bait fish that are in your lake, try and match what the fish are eating. My next wintertime bait is gonna be the spoon. Uh, when they eat a spoon, it can be lights out and you'll have one of the best fishing days um, that you've had. It's, it's really cool when, they, when these fish get schooled up, it looks like lasagna on your, on your graph and you can drop this spoon directly down to them and jig it through them and catch fish after fish when you get that school fired up. So this is actually a Blade Runner dust spoon. It comes in a lot of great colors. It comes in UV, non-UV, um, but this is a, a must have if you're fishing uh, for spots and smallies in the wintertime. Now, number four is kind of a, a, kind of a toss up. You know, I never leave home without um, some Sankos. Uh, in a winter video, Matt and I shot like two years ago, we talked about how we like rigging them on a ball head instead of like a darter head or a shaky head. You get a little bit different accent action. Um, I really like rigging it on, um, it's just a nail weighted Senko. Some people call it a dick rig or, or whatever, but uh, I put a 3 16 ounce head, a ball uh, weight in the front with a, an O-ring right up here and I use a, a number, depends, like a number one, number two uh, owner mosquito hook. And how this thing, it sits on the bottom and you can just kind of drag it and shake it along. I put the O-ring down here at the last probably 80% of the bait. So that's on the bottom and you got a lot more action up here. Um, it's a great fish catcher 12 months out of the year, but I really like throwing it in the cold water months. Another way I like rigging these soft plastics, if I'm fishing a, a, a reservoir that has a lot of stumps or a lot of wood or a lot of snags, I will actually go with the owner 
This is the owner shaky head, uh, ultra head. And the cool thing about this bait, or this, this hook, is it's got a twist lock on it. You screw your bait in there and you Texas rig it. You skin it back into itself and now it's pretty much weedless. Uh, this has a football uh, style head on it. Another great shaky head is gonna be the Dirty Jigs shaky head. This has more of a pitching style head on it. Has a screw lock as, um, as well. But if you're fishing structure or rock piles or wood, treetops, those sort of things, uh, these are great ways to catch smallies and spots in the winter time. Now with that said, this is the baby brush hog. Now all these baits that I'm talking about and all these rigs and um, the hooks and all that stuff, I'm gonna put that down in the video description. We'll have uh, links to go right to, right to the products right on Tackle Warehouse so you don't have to do any searching. But uh, the, the brush hog is a great cold water bait. Real little movement, gets a little bit of action and it's a great fish catcher um, when the bite gets tough. Another must have um, bait for me is gonna be a drop shot. Now there are all, all sorts of different types of drop shot baits. I personally like throwing some kind of a swim bait on the, again, I use the same type of hook. The, the, this is the owner mosquito hook uh, in a one or a one aught or a two, depending on the bait you're, you're, the bait you're, you're hooking and um, the gear you're using. If you're using bigger line, bigger baits, you know, upsize. If you're using lighter line, four pound test, smaller hook, you know, you can even go with the 2.8 on here. But this is, this is the four inch on here. This is the, uh, this is the Easy Shiner by Kitech. It's a great drop shot bait. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with a drop shot, what that is, that has your hook um, up off of the bottom. You have a weight on the bottom. And the great thing about a drop shot, when you're fishing in the wintertime, a lot of time you're using your electronics. You know, I am always staring at my electronics. I'm looking for the fish. And uh, when, I come over, when I come over the top of a fish, I can take that drop shot, just like the spoon, and drop it straight down. I can watch my bait come down right into the fish, and then I can sit there and soak it or shake it or whatever. And a lot of times you can actually see the fish interact with your bait. So it's, you do not want to go wintertime fishing without having a drop shot readily available uh, in case you come over a school and you wanna be able to drop down vertically. Same thing with the spoon. Uh, a lot more action than the drop shot, but when you come over those schools and when you find those schools and you're on top of them, drop straight down on them and start working. There you have it guys. There are six or seven different baits that uh, I have a lot of confidence in. They are great fish catchers year round, but specifically in the winter time, slow down and uh, grab yourself a handful of these baits and uh, you'll put more fish in the boat. So hope you guys like the video. I hope this helps. Hope you guys get out on the water. Like I said, it's a great time to get out there. Less boat traffic, more room to fish for you and uh, have a good one guys. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.